Hello and welcome back to this week's installment of Tinker Tuesday after our little uh, hiatus down to our extravagant vacation to Costa Rica that this guy thinks was actually paid for by sales of mugs on my Teespring site. Yeah, that math checks in. Now before I left, I kind of asked for some like options on what maybe some people would like to see while we're not in the shop. And I came up with answering the most common Q&A question that I get. And that is like, what is your dream bike? Like what is the bike you would want that would just be the be all end all of any bike that you could possibly have? It was a really tough question to ask and I always sort of avoid it because, you know, I wanna put more thought into it. And seeing as I gave myself 10 days of nothing but time to think and also do all the other fun stuff in the sun, about this question, I think I could probably answer it today. So just before we get any deeper into this, I wanna make it clear, we're probably not going to touch any real tools today. I'm just me going through my mind for like what my absolute dream bike to like build and like play with as time goes on would be. So if you're not into that, tune into the next episode of something. Um, we'll actually like mess with something or go for a ride or like, you know, just have general gallivanting style content. Okay, now that everybody has that warning and the rest of us are left, who definitely want to be here, let's get started with like the biggest part of the puzzle, uh, the frame set. So I think what I want for a dream frame set is gonna kind of be like the weirdness that sets me apart from someone else who does this same assignment. And immediately the weird thing is I don't want any sort of bougie boutique tube set at all. Because what I want for a material is 4130 steel butted BMX style tubing. 4130 to be as strong as hell so I can throw anything at it. Butted to like bring the weight down at least a little bit. Integrated head tube, all external hose routing, and flat mount disc mounts. There is zero chance that any other bottom bracket style other than threaded would be going in there, but also I would need it to have sliding dropouts. That'll like make sense in a little bit. Basically what I'd be looking for is like a mix between the new Rodeo Labs Trail Donkey, like version five, that's steel with the, the drop chainstay, but I don't want that, and the Fairdale Rocket Ship. I basically want the Fairdale Rocket Ship with the sliding rear dropouts of the Trail Donkey. I think it's the Trail Donkey. Don't want anything more than like 42 millimeter tire capacity. You don't need more clearance than that. Um, I've been riding around on the 45s on the Poseidon forever. Once those are worn out, I probably won't go with a tire that big again. Uh, 38 to 40 is totally fine. Not to mention, I think it looks better uh, through axle and compact geometry because of the short legs. But basically, yeah, I think saying the, the rocket ship with just the dropouts from the new version five Rodeo Labs bike uh, would be like the, that would be the piece de resistance. Next up would be wheels. Wheel set number one would be a very baller road wheel set. Can't help but feel like it involves a set of Chris King hubs, around 40 millimeter NV hoops with CX rays holding it all together. Those would be the wheels that would go on, I'm pointing at nothing right now, on the, the bike with like 32 millimeter tires on it for straight up road riding. Two would be a shallower set of carbon hoops around like 25 mil deep, uh, probably NVs as well, laced to profile racing gravel mountain bike hubs, mostly just to pay homage to my BMX because it's got profile racing hubs on it and they've lasted forever. Three, a set of profile racing fixed gear hubs converted to through axle, laced with Sapim laser spokes to a set of Zip 30 Moto rims. Just like completely overkill, single speed mountain bike tubeless setup for the days that I would feel like setting up this dream bike as a brakeless track lacrosse monster, which like I can't help but feel like would be really, really often. And it would be so fun because it'd be such a familiar bike. Hence the requirement for the sliding dropouts. Four, you know what, four sets of wheels is greedy. In this hypothetical world, I think I'm actually getting a little bit carried away. Um, I don't need four sets of wheels, just the three really baller ones will do. Bar, stem, and seat post. Um, I'm actually really not that picky about brand or quality of any of that kind of stuff, but this being a dream build, uh, all of those parts would need to match. And seeing as the 3T Ergosum is probably my favorite bar, 3T Ergosum bar, 
with a 3T ARX stem, not the one with the bolts that are really close to each other, but the ones that are further apart, um, and the matching seat post. One caveat to that is that I'd like to have that stem in stock the exact same way that Team Sky did with all their Shimano Pro stems. I'd want like a drawer full of every single size by the centimeter so that I could like dial in fit for like whatever I wanted the bike to be. Um, and that would get more expensive than probably what the frame set would be worth. But this is a dream build. Then I stayed not greedy on the fourth wheel set, so I'm good. Now, of course, we need to talk about drivetrain, but this one's gonna be the simplest um, SRAM red E-tap axis with hydraulic disc brakes and flat mount calipers. There's a reason for this. Also, to be more clear, of course, it would be one buy. This choice deserves more explanation than just like, it's the most expensive and like baller group set that you can get out on the market. Now, I remember way back in this video when I said I wanted to have like a track wheel set and a gravel wheel set and a road wheel set. Well, the gravel wheel set and the road wheel set, those would be geared. Obviously, the single speed track lacrosse wheel set would not be. And where my mind goes with this is I want something on the bike that can be easily taken off to make it look as track lacrosse as possible and not have to have all the stuff that goes with like the road bike gravel stuff still on there. And with the SRAM E-TAP stuff, the rear derailleur comes right off. There's no wires. Take your wheels out, put a different chain on that's sized a little bit differently so that it's perfect for the chain ring that you chose, that you're happy with this setup and this setup, then your drivetrain is done for the fixed gear side. The reason that I want all the brake hoses to be routed externally is so they can easily come off the bike when you want the bike to be a brakeless track bike. So you undo your headset compression bolt, you undo your stem bolts, and you pull it off of the steer tube of the fork with the two bolts for each brake caliper undone. You pull that entire assembly away from the bike. It's still all together. It's not cut. It's not unmaintained. It's still all one closed system that could go back on just as easily as it came off. A matter of six bolts takes you from a super capable gravel or road bike to a very fun single speed track lacrosse bike. Of course I think I forgot to mention that I would also have a set of like mountain bike bars with like stem for that. So yeah, that would be my like very kind of vague idea of probably the most dream, modular, fun tinker bike that I could possibly come up with. And mark my words, if this channel continues to succeed and I start to see growth and revenue and everything build up to a certain point, I will build this bike and you will see it here on a Tinker Tuesday. Okay, thank you for letting me make this video. Um, we just flew back in today, it's Monday. Tomorrow is Tuesday when this is getting uploaded. So I'm like tired and loopy and, and I definitely couldn't have worked on something today. I would just screw it up. So uh, thanks for letting me have this conversation with you. If you want to support the channel, Patreon, uh, Teespring below, you can fund another extravagant vacation for me and three other people uh, or just uh, keep watching videos and uh, check out some of the stuff through the Amazon links in the description below. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys very shortly.